Let's do it. Okay. Yeah, just keep going with that. Hey! Well, you're listening to Bear Friend Tea Party, a podcast. Tonight we'll be kicking back with some sweet jams. And we'll also be discussing the Kansas State Historical Society and the cold inevitability of death. Well, my name is Christopher Winter, and I'm joined tonight by D. Gunnar Beamish, Jeremy Mullis of North Carolina, and Dr. Jonathan Bumpers. Oh, and the most important person at Bear Friend Tea Party, why, that's you. That's hard. Real nice.
that. Uh, hang on, I've forgotten what it's called. That wasn't uh, Dixie Flyer. That's Last Night Everybody on the Back them? Porch. Oh, that's nice. I don't know who it's by. Do you know what key it's in? Uh, it's in C. I transposed oh. it because Danny got all pissy with me last time when I was playing in A flat. I should have set this thing to but be A in flat C. Is the key of love. I know, right? And if you're playing like a, you know, a Wait, reed is that instrument true? or a, a, you know, trumpet or something, those flat keys help. I thought I thought C was the key of love. Is that not I've right? Heard that. You I've know, heard every that in regards to if, those keys, I think. if you're in love, every key is the key of love. There you go. Yeah, but what if? I mean, yeah, but if you're not, <laughs> then no key is the key of love. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Bear friend tea party is brought to you this week by Trend Micro Worry-Free Business Security Systems, the global market leader in cloud security, providing security and threat management solutions that make business and consumers safe. From dangerous websites such as (laughs) flowersofdisgust.com. With more than 25 years of experience, Trend Micro analyzes the risk and characteristics typical of malicious spyware breeding grounds, for instance, flowersofdiscuss.com, and provides an immediate and secure barrier against any such clearly illegal and barbaric content. Trend Micro's detection technology is ever adapting to outpace even the most sophisticated and ruthless cyber criminals one would expect of rogue domains such as flowersofdiscuss.com. Trend Micro, smart protection network, Work, supported by over 2,500 <laughs> threat experts around the globe. It is true. It was uh, it was infected with uh, with malware for several years. <laughs> I think. Is that, is that what? Oh, so it's actually a dangerous website. I it, it it not I anymore. Go there. Not anymore. I think somewhere sometime after. Uh, like remember for a while. Someone had stolen the domain and tried to sell it back to us. What? I thought. I thought they. Did you not know about this? I thought they bought it. Stole the domain and what? They yeah they bought they it. Stole I mean I think it by purchasing. It. Right. Okay. If you they stole it for money. Well, I'm, well, I mean when you, I think that some, like when you do, when you register a domain with a really cheap place. Uh, some of them would like uh, if you let it lapse, they would then sell those lapsed domains kind of in bulk. Right, right. To 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 like scumbags who would then try and sell them back to people who um, had just accidentally lost them. They're like the kind of people that like steal your hubcaps and sell them back to you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Except that it, it, it. So I contacted this dude and I was like, "Hey, I forgot to." re-register flowersofdiscuss.com um can I have it back and he he said I could have it for ten thousand (laughs) dollars did you pay that's how we got it back no I did not you held out I I held out and eventually he I think he he or she decided it was not worth his time to hold that domain any longer and eventually it just became open again wait so you have it back now yeah, I have it back. That's awesome. That's how we have this podcast. <laughs> way to go! The for only, a while we were at the, the only for way. a while we had for a while we had to be at the dot org. Yeah, I did not know that. <laughs> I think we should be at that, the dot that, edu. That means that means that now we're we're making a profit, right? Yeah, exactly. We're in the Jeremy. oh we're in the black this year, all right. I will buy that domain name from you for ten thousand dollars. Really. What are, what are you going to do with it? Like host your podcast there? <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> mm. So I do um I do want to I kind of want to complain about something. <gasps> yeah. Um regular listeners will remember that the night we recorded um our last podcast, episode 4, I was all set to go to an important job interview the next day with the Kansas State Historical Society. Is this that place was underground? No, no, this is a different one. This was the Mine Creek Battlefield Historic Site with the Kansas State Historical Society. 
Are you and gonna you bleep that can, out again? You persuade you persuaded me <coughs> that a smart thing to do would be to take out my penis during the interview. <laughs> Yeah, and they a, have not called me back. <laughs> it's been two weeks now, and they have not called me back. So it went well. Well. You know, it went really well at first. <laughs> oh, man, see. And then I thought, uh, you broke one of the cardinal rules of job interviews, you know. You never, you know, well, you know how they say you never dress better than the people you were being interviewed by? Oh, yeah. So, I mean. No, I haven't heard that. But. No. What about what about you I, never I, what about you never Wait, do you consider having your penis exposed dressing well? No, see I you're being very was, literal. Like, it was a You're not dressed well <laughs> unless your penis is out in the open. No, no I you, meant that you, you dress for the job you want, right? No, I meant that possibly you have a nicer penis than they did do. Did you That's why they're not calling well, you. Did you have certainly. That's what I, Did you have your penis dressed in a little tuxedo? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted them to see how excited I was about the history of the great state of Kansas. I was like, you know, I'm so interested in Kansas history, I can't talk about it without taking my penis out. You know, Chris, you're talking about and it right now. if you give me this job, I'll probably have my <laughs> penis out all the time. You should start a, uh, a Kansas history-themed uh, top, you know, strip bar. That would be that would be really good. He, I have what a would question. You call it? John Brown, oh, right? No, um, something like a Ad Astra, or a, you know, some. That's oh, it. Ad, you yeah. know, you just call it Ad Astra with two S's. Ad Astra. Oh, like it's an ass. Really? No, like an ad ass. Like A S S hyphen T R A. I'm so. Are we having the same? You were talking about ad like asterisk a, a, or something. A Kansas history themed strip bar. Yeah, okay. That's yeah. what I thought. Yeah, so you'd call it Ad Astra. Yeah. To the stars through yeah. difficulty. That's the name of the bar. That should be the name of our podcast, actually. <laughs> to the stars <laughs> through our difficulty. Podcast has already oh, been yeah. named. Sorry, I'm a few episodes behind. <laughs> uh, I thought you were talking about our new That's podcast. It's our Kansas <laughs> state history <laughs> theme. Our podcast. Kansas history podcast. I mean, this is, this is our flagship podcast, but. It's unclear to me how much of this conversation I'm going to need to bleep out. Probably none of it. Well, I mean, what are the chances that, number one, that those guys are going to... Like, what are the chances they're going to listen to your podcast? I'd say they're remarkably high. Really? Well, you know, how many listeners do we have now? You would know better than I do. Like, how many di how many downloads do we typically get per episode? Just on no, average. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Does iTunes not give us those sort of stats? I I haven't looked. <laughs> um, I would assume quite a lot. I feel like I should be playing the guitar. I mean, would you? How many figures? Just roughly, how many figures would you say? Six figures. Five, well, six, twelve. How many six, times six, have six, you wait, downloaded? How many people are there on the world? Uh, there were ten billion twenty. About seven there billion. Were ten billion people in twenty ten. So that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought it was like seven. It's about seven billion. Man, nobody, nobody got my bad religion joke. Oh, I got it. Oh, was that a bad religion joke? I I still no I, tell it. I still is don't it, get your bad religion joke. Is it yeah, a knock everyone, knock joke? Wait, everyone, be quiet. Danny's gonna tell a bad religion joke. <laughs> wait, 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 knock, Danny. Knock. Is it a it, who's there? Who's there? The positive aspect of negative thinking. <laughs> the the positive aspect of negative thinking. Who? Yeah, hey. <clears throat> <laughs> Hey yo! <laughs> Was the siren part of that joke? I, I possibly. Didn't, I didn't uh, sound that siren. I don't know if there's any confusion. About that. I was confused about that. It's hard Wait. because your your siren and John's <laughs> siren sound so similar. Well, we're brothers. <laughs> what, yeah, you know, I am sick of people telling me 
on the flowers that they can't tell the difference between all of our sirens. Like, I play them our music, and they say, I can't even tell who's playing the siren. All of your sirens sound the same. Yeah, that's... That's bullshit.
make some lyrics. It's definitely called Last Night on the Back Porch. Last night yeah. on the back porch I fell in love once again Last night on the old back porch I thought you were my friend You went and ran away So hard for me to say Tonight on the back porch I hope Hell you no. don't stay Some loose boards on this you porch. don't stay. But sometimes it's so hard. It's so hard to know what to do. Screen door. Last night on the back porch, I was alley cat howling at the moon. Is that a hose there? That's pretty good. You can email it. Uh, you can email us at bearfriendteaparty at aol dot com. Sometimes it's just so hard. Don't forget to check out our Facebook page after you create it for us, and then let us know that you created. I was Facebook of a page for us. Fishbone. But it you can also check out my other podcast, High on the Alley Cow, Cat's at highonthecow.com, which Alley may Cat's actually exist someday. Alley Cat thinking about fish. Alley Cat thinking about fish. But sometimes I'm looking at you when I'm hungry and you turn into food. Micro Worry Free Business Security Services for making tonight possible. Proud sponsor of flowersofdisgust.com. Proud sponsor of Bad Friend Tea Party. Flowers of Disgust Podcast. So thanks to you, Trend Micro Worry Free Business Security Services, for making all my dreams come true. Sometimes it's so hard to be an alley cat on the fence. Last night on the back porch, I wish that fishbone would turn into you.